they are just everything <laughs> what's up my vena loves it's miss vena d coming to you all from vena team at news Ooh, okay so the last episode not the bonus episode but the r- real actual episode that i did did not have enough content as it relates to brian and rachel but I still had to I still had to keep my promise with the whole Monday and Thursday posting. So you know what? I was still able to put an episode together. But this one is just geared towards Brian and Rachel. It's images of them. You saw the videos and all of that in the beginning. So I was like, you know what? I have to drop an episode that is just going to show more content of our favorite couple so there you go i'm going to try my best to do like my top favorite moments of 2017 from this series you know pick my favorite videos and all of that and do a recap however guys if i don't get around to doing that i just want to say happy new year to every single one of you thank you so much for rocking with me thank you so much you know for everything your support is just my goodness yesterday you know i get all of the support and things like that on youtube but yesterday really showed me how important i am brian and rachel so because supporters because my goodness when i tell you that my dm was blowing up and not so much because of the drama like oh you know we have to, we have tea or whatever girl it was more on the level of now vena i know other people are going to talk about this but no one is going to break it down and be as detailed as you so we are over here patiently waiting those are the messages i was receiving so that really made my heart smile so thank you all so much for the love and the support and just everything and then also too for brian and rachel to say hey we watch your videos thank you that was also special you know so i'm going to try to put a video together but however man that bonus episode who mm, i don't know <laughs> That bonus episode was a lot. And the fact that I still have a voice and the fact that I'm still here with another episode, I'm shocking myself right now because that took it out of me because that episode was so long. And every time, you know, when when your face is in the video, it's easier, right? Because it's just you talking. But when you have to include the receipts to match what you're saying and include the images and include clips and videos and all of those things that's not an easy editing to do okay (laughs) but i know that i had to come through because you guys were looking forward to that so i had to come through with even more receipts and responses and all of that so even though that took a lot out of me to do it I'm going to try, but if I don't put up, you know, my 2017 recap and all of that, that's why we have the playlist, you know, go ahead and visit the playlist and have your own recap. But if I don't get to do another video on, you know, Brian and Rachel until 2018, then I'm wishing all of you a happy new year. Please be safe, you know, as you go out there to celebrate and all of that. And I'm looking forward to an amazing new year. I am so excited, but you know what? I decided to just not speak on certain things and just be like surprise (laughs) you know what i'm saying because sometimes man mm, i'm a woman of god and all of that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and all of that but sometimes you just have to keep some things to yourself because oh the devil be out there be busy and you know be praying on people be praying on your downfall and all of that and although it's never going to work you know what i'm saying because i'm covered with the blood of jesus and it's never going to work you know the weapons were formed but they would never prosper in jesus name so but still with all of that and and all of that i just decided you know what i'm gonna keep certain things on the wraps and like i said 
one day I'm just gonna do a video and be like surprised and have you all gagging like oh my god <laughs> so when that happens you will see and you will know anyways uh, make sure you click the subscribe button you click on that notification bell so when I post you are aware that I posted you know leave a comment leave a thumbs up and thank you so much for the support now let's get into Brian and Rachel I'm sorry for just running my mouth like that but I had to really tell you guys thank you and that I really do appreciate every single one of you and the support but who when your ex is being exposed mm, as a scammer <laughs> I had to drop your and the scammer real quick and you are just out here Yes, I'm going to say it just one time for the one time because you guys know it's just overkill at this point. But when your ex is being exposed and you are just out here living your best life, you know, with your man and you just feel free and vindicated and just feel like finally, man, because like I said in other um, episodes, I would never understand. And I get it. When you watch TV and these different shows that's what they're there for they're there for people to have their opinions you know people to say what they feel and all of that but i would never understand how people could be so passionate to tell someone who was living in the moment that they are wrong for picking someone for their life and their forever when they are the one that was living in the moment and you're just watching it on TV. I would never understand how passionate and psycho and obsessed some of these people, you know, have become and go in on Brian and Rachel all the time. So I am so glad that those text messages were revealed. The relationship aspect and all of that, like I said in the bonus episode, I'm wishing the young lady well. I hope she seeks help in all of that because some of the things was just like, girl, mm -mm, you just, no, you just tolerated too much, okay? But my focus were those text messages and I'm so glad that everything was exposed and Rachel is just out here living her life having an amazing time with her man and some of you who've been complaining like oh Brian and Rachel what happened to the PDA like why you want to see them kiss anyways but <laughs> there you go they dropped some for you all and um in the videos and it's just cute at the end you know when they were leaving and she's asking him if he had fun babe and he's like yeah and they kissed and then of course copper was included i just love the little, little family that they have created and i'm looking forward to 2018 like i said in you know a previous episode that rachel said they are absolutely 100 percent getting married in 2018 you know every time that certain people get exposed and all of that brian and rachel just look more like they are just getting stronger and better and the more people are warming up to them but you know what i'm just i'm just glad that they were able to focus on each other focus on their love tune out the noise and made it through all of this because i have like i said yes it's been a while since i follow the franchise okay but you know i've kept up here and there and through all of the other seasons and things like that i have never ever seen someone or two people get so much hate you know so i'm just so glad that these two were able to tone out the noise and focus on each other because if they did not make it it would have been understandable because it was just team too much man but i'm glad that they were like look we did not go through all of that to walk away from what we have we have something special and we're not going anywhere <laughs> we're going to hang in there and we're going to make it work and it just looked like it's working just fine i also love that with all of the seriousness and we have our careers and we're doing a b and c that they can still be playful and you know go out and have fun and it's not just okay the grown and sexy type of fun but this this type of fun you know going to the team park or the park or just relaxing and having a good time i just love how well-rounded their relationship is you know you want to be in a relationship with your best friend 
someone that you can laugh with, joke around with, be serious with, but also be a kid with. You know, I'm gonna be good now. I don't know why. I don't know why that was that little commercial jingles in my head but yeah but anyways um you can hear it in my voice my vanillas you can hear it that okay girl thank you for you know thank you for everything you've done go ahead and rest your voice because yeah that bonus episode did it but i wanted to at least drop something that just had content and show just brian and rachel by themselves nobody else no drama no nothing and it's just these two in love having an amazing time so you know with uh the last episode being like 20 something minutes long the bonus episode i'm not going to make this one too long i just wanted to show their faces and let you guys know that this is basically you know rachel's reaction (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to everything like woohoo I'm why boom right <laughs> I'm living an amazing life with my best friend with my man and we are just laughing and having a good old time while other people are being exposed good always win over evil good will always win over evil and I'm glad I am so glad now hopefully you know, people can leave them alone a little bit. And regardless if people leave them alone or not, they're strong enough to survive it all. So, you know, even the guy, you know, the guy reality Steve have not really been good to Brian and Rachel. He's allowed certain people on that podcast to come and trash, you know, our girl. So I'm not going to sit here and ignore that part, okay? Yeah, but... He was, even when he was talking about Brian and Rachel, like, oh, it looks like they're still together and they're still surviving. He still has some hesitation in his voice, but it's almost like he's coming around because he was, that podcast were one of the ones that was really going in, being disrespectful to Brian and Rachel. So I'm not no fan (laughs) of them either, but hey. I'm glad that the other guy was exposed and not glad like I'm not want to celebrate in someone else down for a measure any, any of that that's not who I am I'm saying I'm glad as it relates to the text messages that this is something every single one of us over here saw all along but people just you know place that person on the pedestal but anyways this episode is about brian and rachel and their love and happiness and all of that and not anything else so i'm going to go ahead and just leave that for the bonus episode if you have not seen the bonus episode i'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description below and also the link to the playlist guys i by the way it's my vina loves like i said i'm wishing all of you a happy 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 new year be safe thank you for all of the love and support and i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i'm wishing you all an amazing day remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless the volume is about to increase in the next clip guys so if you had a headset on just brace yourself just wanted to give that warning